So let's clean this up so we don't have to look at all this junk. All right. I'm going to make a folder in here. You could also just get rid of it if you wanted, but I'm just going to make a folder and I'm going to say XAMPP old stuff or something like that. Stuff that I don't really care about right now, but I don't know that I'm ready to just get rid of all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these files and also this one too. And I'm going to drag that into where it says XAMPP old stuff. Okay? And now if I hit uh, refresh. Now I've just got these folders, so that's good. If I wanted to make another folder inside of here, you know, that was called, uh, you know, practice or sandbox or dev, I could do that. And in fact, that's what I'm going to suggest that you do. I'm going to suggest that you right click and you tell it that you want to make a new folder, and we're going to call it dev in this class. A lot of people will call it sandbox um, or development. Dev stands for development, but it's nice and short for you to type if it's DEV. And that's where we're going to end up putting a lot of practice files. So we can refresh this, and if we go into dev, you'll see that it's an empty directory. Okay, So that's a good starting place, and uh, now you have a better understanding of the relationship to where localhost is dumping you. And remember, it's that htdocs folder. So if you look at htdocs, that's the folder that gets loaded up whenever you type in localhost. And you're not going to type in htdocs, right? Because htdocs is basically in place of localhost, but so you have an understanding of what localhost is. Um, it's uh, a name that's assigned to your computer's loopback address. A loopback address for all computers is 127.0.0.1. Okay? And what that is, is it's basically like a recursive thing saying me, myself, I in, in the English language, okay? So it's the computer's own self address uh, for its web service. There is a file in your computer somewhere that maps this number to the word localhost. So instead of having to remember that number, instead you can just type in localhost, okay? And that is sort of the same principle as like whenever you have a domain name, like leecotner.com for instance, it actually has an associated IP address to it, but instead of having to remember that IP address, you create a domain name and then your, register, your registrar will map the uh, domain name to an IP address that doesn't change, and that way you only have to type the name instead. Similar principle to your localhost server. The difference is that all computers that are running a web service on its on itself is going to still use the word localhost. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this demonstration here, and uh, now you've got XAMPP installed. And just remember that if you want to do any test scripts, you want to create any kind of testing scripts or anything like that, you would put it into your htdocs. And remember, we made a shortcut somewhere on the desktop or in your start menu or something, and you would just drop it in here. And I guess before I end it, let's actually just make a file really quick so that you can see what I'm talking about. So let's go to Dreamweaver or whatever you happen to be using. I'm going to go create a new file. And I'm going to make a PHP file. And I'm also going to make sure that I'm using HTML5. That's what I'm going to be trying to use for any of my new demonstrations. Some of my old ones use XHTML. Anyway, uh, so in the body, it's automatically going to put HTML in here, and that's okay, because HTML is um, uh, okay to embed with PHP. That's why PHP is called an embedded language. So I'm going to go ahead and create what is called the basic page. And when I say base, what is called the basic page, I don't mean that this is a standard that everybody uses. I'm saying that we're going to create a page that's called basic. and um, these are some PHP tags, so it's open bracket with a question mark and then the words, the, the letters PHP all run together, and then to end it, it's question mark end bracket. Okay, and so I'm just going to do something here that uh, says echo, okay, and we'll talk about some commands later, but echo basically is going to say something back to the browser, and we're going to put uh, in quotation marks we're going to put basic page, like that. 
and then you're going to at the end of the quotation mark you're going to put a semicolon to end or to terminate the command and this is just basically going to echo back the word basic page. The other thing I want to do is up where it says title I'm going to just type in the words basic page and we're going to save this and I'm going to save it inside of my uh, dev folder and if you want you can go to your shortcut for htdocs I'm going to put it in dev and we're going to call it basic.php and you can use that as just a, a starter template in the future okay oh except I misspelled basic didn't I let's, let's fix that basic and I'm going to resave that okay so now if I go back into Chrome okay and I refresh localhost slash dev I've got my basic.php file I click on it and it's echoing back basic page okay um, and if you wanted to put something directly into your localhost we could also save something that's a little bit different in there instead of doing this I'm gonna call this uh, well actually let's just get rid of all the HTML because we don't we're not gonna need it for what we're doing and I'm gonna do file save as and instead of putting this in my dev folder I'm actually gonna put it straight into htdocs which is the equivalent like I said before to localhost okay and instead of calling it basic we're gonna call this info.php alright so and I'm gonna say no by the way in Dreamweaver it's always gonna ask you do you wanna update the links uh, just say no okay in the past you may have been accustomed to saying yes say no for the most part in this class uh, because it's making certain assumptions that that you you probably shouldn't make um, <clears throat> when you start getting into dynamic content okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do my basic PHP tags here and I'm gonna do uh, something that's creating a function and it's called uh, PHP info it's all run together and then open and close parentheses and then you're going to terminate that and if you just say PHP info open paren close paren terminator it's going to automatically uh, run this function it's a known PHP function it's built into the PHP library and so I'm going to save this and this is going to give you back information about your PHP installation so uh, let's go ahead and close these files I'm going to close Dreamweaver as well and if I go to localhost and I hit refresh now you see there's the info.php page and if I click on it it gives me all that same information as before when I showed it to you in the XAMPP folder but now if you ever want to find out any information uh, about your PHP installation you can just go to localhost slash info.php okay All right now I really am gonna stop the demo and uh, and you can move on from there now that you know how to put stuff in your htdocs folder and um, get started with your basic.php file in your dev folder